All right. So what is a good like daily little routine that you can get yourself in to fully maximize Zenless Zone Zero? And even if you aren't going to be playing, you know, for hours on end every day, because let's be honest, you know, typically with gacha games, uh, this quality like Zenless Zone Zero, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, so on and so forth, you need to get high level to access more items. So right now, I uh, just, you know, logged in, did a little running around. I haven't done anything yet, honestly. So as you can see with my errands, we haven't really done anything. What I typically like to do is initially when I log in, I go to my errands to what am I going to be doing? Because typically I leave my character out in the street and you know, I just do this. So as we can see here, I gotta get one coffee, scratch card. So let's go ahead and just get the scratch card dealt with right here. Let's wake up this little doggo and you know, hope for some stuff because you can actually get some decent stuff now see i'm going to be getting some denny that's fine whatever no big deal all right now we are going to run over to the cafe to get some coffee and with the coffee what is shut up what is nice is that obviously you know you have different elements here and different little things so and each, depending on which latte and which coffee you do, they do different things. So as you can see here with the black tea latte, your stun certification seal drops increased by 100% for the combat simulation, which is very nice. Um, for me, because I am running Ellen and Sokaku and I'm trying to get Lycone, this one right here is what I typically get because as you can see the freeze tactical chip drops are increased by 100 percent so let's go ahead and do that and also as a side note depending and actually you know not even with all of the coffee you actually are going to get some battery charge which is nice and we are going to activate that so now we jump over here and all right well we have one thing and my video store is just not open for business whatever no big deal let's go ahead and spend some battery energy and to do that we are actually going to go over to these items over here so like i said we are working on ellen so we want to get the attack um promotion certification seals and honestly even for that it doesn't necessarily matter because you, whatever character you're working on, you're going to be doing the agent promotion. Now for the skills, you are going to be go, um, jumping over to the agent skill. And then for the Wenjin modification, you're going to be doing this. So let's go ahead and just do this. Teleport over to work on the skill and try to get ready for Ellen in the future. Um, level that up nice, which is very good. So we are going to be doing this. And as you can see, obviously my Ellen is 30, my Sukaku is 20, and my Ambi is 20. And then we're actually going to be changing this to you to get more ice damage. So I am going to be doing this, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. So as we can see here, finished all of that. Very nice. And we got our skill or uh, our materials that we wanted to get. And okay all right so and because of that jump over here all of it is complete we get a total of 600 internet credit and 60 polychrome which is very very nice um 3000 denny also very good always helps to get additional level ups and rewards so now we are going to be jumping over to the video store uh to be talking to our main bing boo himself so let's go ahead and just talk to the bang boo and what we're doing here is we are getting more denny and then we are also going to be getting the bang boo software patch because this allows us to upgrade our bang boo so this is another thing to do every day so let's select our promoter currently right now we have the this bang boo uh for this aspect so we're going to be doing that and then so for our videotapes 
we want to try to have at least a couple of each. So we are looking for retro adventure and action show. We are going to be doing this one, adding that. Let's see, we have an action here and now we are looking for a retro, which is going to be this. And now we are just going to be waiting for just 24 hours for this to go through. Um, as you can see, you know, you can level it up to get further and further and better increases and better rewards. Uh, haven't done that yet. Still need to work on that. But this is a nice little additional thing to do um, to make sure that you are just maximizing as much as you can. Obviously, when you complete everything, too, you get your dailies and you get your battle pass level ups. So for right now, that is just what I'm doing. Uh, depending on what characters I'm running, I might look at you know their skills or their basic stats and try to level that them up. So right now, Sukaku, she can get unlock that, which is nice, but we can't get the B. Oh well, no big deal. For the basic stats, we're looking here. And, you know, we're going to need 12 of these. So I will be working on that to get her to level 30 as well as Ambi. Um, she is already as much as I can at the moment. But for the most part, that is just what I'm doing in the game. Um, and then obviously increasing my inner knot and then doing all the story mode, all the side quests, get as much polychrome as I can, saving up for future characters. Um, but that is just, you know, what my daily grind is looking like. So I did forget to mention this, um, so I'm going to be covering it now. But, you know, to also help increase your internet level is you actually would be going to the internet and then, you know, normally you come up to this page for your notifications. However, you go to the schedule here to be able to look at anything that you can do in the meantime. Obviously, it's going to tell you where you're how much internet you're going to be getting, how much polychrome and then every other little piece of additional materials that you're going to be getting so this is another avenue to help increase your internet level additionally you know you can always just go oops, wrong one you always can just go to the training and the challenges as these will grant you internet you know as you complete each one they give you a little bit of internet which is always nice and this will help increase your level while also in the meantime getting resources you need to level up characters to increase their skills and to you know just increase like what all this stuff helps so that is also very important to mention i forgot to mention that so i wanted to make sure i included that in this video